Hello, my name is Craig Stevens, and my senior thesis piece is called Layers in Grace. I've spent most of my life studying drawing, and more specifically figure drawing. At about 16, I fell in love with figure drawing and the entire process. The point-to-point -point relationships, the gesture, the arabesque, the underlying structure, the geometry, and the geometry of the figure. After all the time, all this time drawing, I find myself instinctively doing these things, almost detached from the act, but being very much present at the same time, like a state of prayer with a pencil. Along the way, I had to make a living and stumbled into a job at a billboard company. And there was someone painting a billboard the first time I walked into the shop. And I said to myself, like, I think I could do that. Well, that set me on the path of becoming a sign painter, learning hand lettering and how to paint large scale. The next, spent, in the, the next 14 years or so, I spent painting signs, mostly billboards, and learning the craft of lettering. One evening, I was still learning to lay out lettering, and I went home and I was frustrated, and I said to my wife, I said, I can't, I can't do this. And she said, why not? Uh, and she said, what's wrong with you? you? know, You paint beautiful paintings, you draw beautiful drawings, and she continued saying that lettering is just like a figure drawing, it's all related in its design. Well, the light bulb went off. So when digital printing put us out of work, I became an art director and designed billboards and um, still do and, and advertising. In my spare time, I continued my art practice. All the while, I had this idea of incorporating lettering and elements of my vocation in my avocation. The graphic elements of lettering and figure drawing overlap. The geometry, spatial relationships, proportions, positive and negative shapes playing off one another. Geometry flowing together to take your eye for a ride as you read. After about 2010, I started a series of paintings based on, on uh, advertising elements and, and uh, combining them with words and letters, all the while trying to combine my, my drawing and lettering skills, not being entirely satisfied with the results. A few years later, I made this piece based on the three graces, a very popular subject artists over the centuries ever since Greek antiquity. I went back to this for inspiration and decided to rethink the concept. All the while one of my favorite quotes was being played in my head. All good things come by grace and grace comes by art and art does not come easy. Norman McLean, A River Runs Through It. So I started my research process. Um, <clears throat> the three graces are, are Zeus's daughters. Um, they are um, mythological. They aren't real. Uh, they've been depicted in many ways and meant many things, but through it all, they are primarily symbols of beauty and grace, almost always touching in some manner. And one of them, at least one of them, is in a contrapposto pose. My three graces would be an homage to the past works and artists through the use of the language of drawing while introducing the concept in a new light. Grace can be defined in many ways. Divine intervention, a refinement of movement, gratitude, and elegance. So I started my ideation process and with thumbnails and rough sketches decided on an altarpiece type of shape. I started out with a triptych. It evolved into a more of an altarpiece, a whole piece, um, but it is made of three panels. So now I could fabricate my substrate um, the, my intention was to use, I, um, I used old galvanized billboard panels and I had to uh, lay out the, the, the shape and, and cut it out of the metal and then I had to put the panels together before I could start painting. Once I could start the work, uh, I started initially with an ink drawing. Um, I had a smaller version of what I wanted to do that I was looking at when I was doing this work. and. Uh, when I when I work like this, what I do is I leave layout lines and geometry and directional emphasis lines and enclosures and point-to-point -point relationships exposed deliberately in places as the work progresses. So I can let you in on the process of what's going on. Um, my geometry, I'm primarily working with a circle and a square. Um, there's, there's other elements to it, but uh, primarily it's just a circle and a square. Working in transparent and semi-transparent layers to create palimpsests, if you will, 
of classical references, marks, brushstrokes, proportions, techniques, and geometry passed down through history. When it was near completion, I switched gears to build a structure to hold the piece. I would say now, at this point too, I used uh, primarily uh, um, uh, paint sticks, oil paint sticks, uh, Japan colors, um, ink, uh, some Conti pencil, some charcoal. Um, uh, that's that's pretty much the primarily what I used, and uh, most of the colors were glazes. They're not they're not solid. They're not opaque. So again, here I was able to employ my skills learned from my working history in the sign uh, business. Um, built a structure to hold these three panels together. Um, basically a large easel type shape, um, just tilted back ever so slightly, just so that the weight was balanced well and it could stand on its own. Finally, it was installation day in the gallery. Uh, the back is made to suggest a sign or a billboard structure. Um, added some uh, random elements to give character to the back. Um, another little story when I was or thing when I was when I was working in uh, out in uh, operations when we were um, taking down and putting up uh, billboard faces, crews would sometimes leave each other messages or notes on the back. Or there would be things written on there because they were laying in the shop and somebody was doing something and and you, you never knew there, there might be things on there um, and you wouldn't see the back of the board from from the road so uh, they, were, they were usually inside jokes or just random things that just really didn't have any make make a whole lot of sense sometimes or they were just a joke like I said so and the final um, the front face um, to me, beauty and grace comes in the process, not just the final product. Lines form a visual dance with the rhythm of spatial intervals keeping time. Color flows like a melody to bring the composition together. Layers and grace depicts a female, a male, and an androgynous figure. Abstracted and not in realistic proportions, deliberately to embrace the differences of our humanity as beautiful. Thank you very much. I would like to thank Claudia Osteen uh, professor uh, for all of her help in this in this project.